So I'm here today, this is the RAC Club in Epsom. Beautiful course, lovely range to get Dunhill ready. Um, every year, as soon as that invite comes through, the nerves in your body start to come. You start to think about what it's like to play at Kings Barnes, Carnoustie, St Andrews, with some of the best players in the world, and make sure that you get your game in the right shape to be able to compete and not make a complete fool of yourself. That's what I look at, that's what I need to do. So if you were to put into words what it's like to play in the Dunhill, it's almost impossible because it's one of the greatest sporting events that you can be part of. I'm a, a golf fanatic, golf addict. And the first time I got invited to, to play, I, was, you know, I couldn't quite believe it, I got the invite through. And you realise that there's going to be some of the best golfers in the world, but also some of the, the biggest stars from sport and celebrity all rolled into one. And next thing you're playing alongside these people, it's just the most incredible experience. It just has this, this magical chemistry about it where everything just sort of feels right and you turn up there and next thing for that week, you're a pro golfer. Like maybe don't you maybe you don't play like one, but you can at least act like one for a week, and it's just the most amazing experience. You know, St Andrews, the home of golf, it doesn't get any better. You know, when you tear up on the first there, every time I tear up, I get goosebumps. I just want to hit a good one. Uh, you, you go to Kings Barnes, which is probably one of the prettiest courses I've ever played, and it's just one of my favourite courses in the world. And then you've got the Beast, which is Carnoustie, which beats everyone up. And then, you know, until you've ever played 16, 17, 18, you don't know how hard golf is. They're just so difficult to, to complete. But I can't wait to get back out there and, and see all my mates again and play some golf with them. I've been really lucky. Luke Donald's a good friend of mine, and, and hopefully we've been paired together a few times, which has been great. Um, I remember playing you know, one year when we got to the last round and Luke was actually leading the tournament. And I'm thinking to myself, so Luke Donald's number one, he's leading, and Rory McIlroy's number two. So that means on a Sunday, I'm going to be in a group with Rory and Luke Donald and Rory's dad. I'd had a couple of glasses of wine the night before, so lucky enough I, could, I, you know, I wasn't too nervous. But I, just, I do remember getting on the first and trying to put my ball on the tee and I'm thinking, this is not going to go on here, I'm too nervous. It wasn't the red wine, it was just genuinely nerves. But just, just incredible you know, experiences. I've played at Wembley, I've you know, done so many lovely things as a footballer and I'm so proud of, but playing and doing things like that, it puts, I put that right up there. If I was to analyse my game sort of for Lynx golf, it's probably not, I'm not ideally designed for Lynx. I've got quite a high ball flight. I drive the ball quite well, which is good. Uh, long iron's not too bad, but it's just the little shots around the green that I get a little bit nervy, you know, and you get a bit yippy around them. Putting's okay, but the chipping and the pitch and runs, that's something I'm really working on this year.